Luca Guadagnino is back and he might just have his best film yet with Challengers. This is a movie that was supposed to come out in 2023 and then got pushed back due to the strikes. It's finally here. It was one of my most anticipated films last year. Now it's one of my most anticipated this year and it lives up to the hype. A film that I was just excited for just on the same par that it's Zendaya working with Luca Guadagnino. Mike Feist, Josh O'Connor are all starring in this. I really liked Mike Feist in West Side Story and here we are. Uh, Challengers took my breath away. It kind of blew my mind. In fact, I think it's one of the most riveting movies I've watched, and specifically when it comes down to a sports drama. But to call this just a sports drama, I actually don't think this gives this film a fair shake because this is more than just your typical sports drama or even your toxic relationship type of film. This is a movie that is pure in and pure out a thriller from the tennis match that you see happening throughout this entire film to the riveting storylines that they play throughout the whole entire movie, which is told in a very non-linear way. And if you followed me for a while, you know non-linear stories sometimes are not my cup of tea, but Challengers might be one of the best examples of how to tell a non-linear story and keep your audience engaged. I am so excited to talk about Challengers today, so make sure to leave your thoughts down below, hit that like and subscribe button, and if for some reason you're watching this review and you don't know what Challengers is about, Tashi, a former tennis prodigy turned coach, is now married to a champion on a losing streak. Her strategy for her husband's redemption takes a surprising turn when he must face off against his former best friend and Tashi's former boyfriend this is again directed by luca guadagnino the guy who's done like bigger splash bones and all and even suspiria of lately it's also stars zendaya mike feiss and josh o'connor so just getting those out of the way i've said it off the top this might be luca guadagnino's best movie and the more and more i sit here during my review the more and more i feel very confident in saying that and he's a very interesting director because no matter what film or what genre you're watching of him he's always able to infuse other genres into that and challengers is no other exception except it feels like it's a movie that he's been building up towards his entire career when it comes down to romance when it comes down to horror when it comes down to riveting and pulse pounding stuff he's able to infuse so many different things that he's learned from his other films in his career and now all infused into a brand new thriller that again keeps you on edge the entire way through and his directing is top tier it becomes and makes all the technical pieces and everything kind of work where when you look at the making of a film a film is just one giant puzzle and you're trying to figure out how to get it to work. You got to get the performances to work. You got to get the cinematography to work. You got to get the score going with it all and you got to edit it all together and make something that's cohesive and will not just entertain audiences, but also have them talking, which will be a big conversational piece for this film. This is one of those movies that when it ends, I wanted to just instantly talk with someone about the certain choices and the certain things that the characters, and specifically the way that this movie actually ends, because that's going to be one of the biggest topical pieces of this entire film as well. It's a movie that it rewards you for paying attention to it. And you can't say that about a lot of movies because one small nuance that a character does in like a small conversation that happens maybe like 45 minutes into the film literally ties into the third act of this. Same thing goes for one little nuance that Zendaya does exactly right at the ending. The second you see that, it ties to something she did an hour into the film, which all correlates back to that non-linear storyline that they're telling. During this giant big tennis match, a reunion of some sorts for two best friends that you can instantly feel there's a drift between them. When this movie started, you can feel this tension in the air from the tone and everything involved. And you're kind of sitting there wondering, what, what did I miss? And I didn't know how the story was going to play out. I didn't know this was a nonlinear story. But through and throughout, how it tells the tennis match that you're watching throughout the film, instantly you might see a character look over at Zendaya. And they give him this look. And while you don't know what that look instantly means right then and there, it flashes back. And it might say 13 years before. And you're wondering, what does that 13 years before mean? It tells that story of that little notice, that nod, that look that a character gives. And they do that so brilliantly throughout this movie. Always cutting back right when it needs to. And a lot of that, I cannot claim enough, 
is the editing. I know Dune Part 2 came out this year. It's my favorite film of the year. Now, a lot of you guys are going to say, well, that movie had incredible editing, all this. I think Challengers takes the cake on the editing. It's one of the most specific usages of it. And if the editing failed for this movie, it would fail its story at the same time. And a lot of that also have to acclaim the writer Justin Krzyzewski's on here. I might be mispronouncing that. I apologize. The writing was phenomenal. From the character drama to the character work, the way that it all intersplices, it's a wonderful piece of work. And again, telling a nonlinear story is not easy. It's got to work on the page and on the script, and it's also going to work in the editing bay, and they make it work. But the added cherry on top of that is the performances, the way that the characters can just say so much with the emotion on their face. And Zendaya, absolutely incredible in here. I know a lot of us love her in Euphoria. I do too. I loved her in Malcolm and Marie. I love her as MJ in the Spider-Man films. This is hands down her best performance, and it's also the best usage of her. She's able to take a really bold performance, one that is physical and, of course, also using her mind, using her tricks. And it's a character that easily you could hate. You could hate this character for what she's doing, for what she's saying she's going to do, and what she could possibly be saying that she's going to do. But she's also a character that you instantly fall in love with, the same way that the audience falls in love with her as she's this tennis prodigy the same way that the two main characters fall in love with her you instantly understand why because at the same time you're falling in love with her and it's hard to take your eyes off her because of these looks these nuances the way she carries herself it's also brilliant and it's absolutely a chef's kiss zendaya is phenomenal in here if she is not nominated for this film next year at the oscars i will be blown away same thing goes for Dune Part 2. I think she'll be a double nomination next year. Honestly, if the if the studios play it right, she could be. Same thing can be said for Mike Feist, who I think is phenomenal in here as well, and Josh O'Connor. Their relationship, their dynamic as best friends, like instantly, like the way that all their relationships work, you can easily believe in every single situation. The atmosphere, the tension, no matter if it's sexual tension or also just aggression, you can feel it every moment and i love how there's always going to be a debate on this film on certain character choices and certain things that you feel characters would believe or have conversations about and again one of those things that just keeps you on edge but the other thing that keeps you on edge is also just how the sports part is actually filmed in a way what trent reznor and atticus ross were able to do with the score in here does leave for a very pulse pounding thing that shakes the entire theater and on the surface, if you were to listen, listen to the score without knowing that it's a sports drama, you'd assume it's like a John Wick action movie at times. But it's not. But the usage of that score and the way that it amps up the tension, whether it's in those moments or even in the tennis matches, you're able to understand every single piece. And it never takes away... It adds to the editing. It adds to the camera angles, which whoo, the the way that Luca Guadagnino shot the tennis match in here was great. Getting some like weird underlying looks where you see the characters like playing above you and then same thing like sometimes you'll be the ball or sometimes you'll be like attached to the racket. It always puts you into the moment. And the film carries such a heavy atmosphere to it. Every moment you feel like you are along for the ride. And I, it, it blows my mind how Luca Guadagnino, he does it with every single movie. He makes you feel like you're a fucking fly on the wall. And that Challengers just did that so greatly. Still thinking about the last 10, 15 minutes of this film and specifically how that entire final act of the tennis match and the way that it's flashing in between back and forth without getting into spoilers of what it's flashing between and the certain nuances characters do it's all so brilliant and the usage the look the cinematography all of that technically this film is a marvel and it's one of those films that you just can't get out of your head the second you walk out of it and it's going to be one of those films that you're going to want to go talk with someone directly after watching the movie and honestly i think there is so much that i could say about challengers it will leave you breathless it's a riveting pulse pounding thriller that blew my mind the score the performances the editing 
There is so much I want to say, but a lot of it could leave into spoilers, and I think that's where I just need to leave it. You are going to be blown away by this. I would be surprised if you watched the trailer and then you went and saw this film and you didn't like the movie. In fact, this is might be even Luca Guadagnino's most accessible movie if you thought some of his other stuff was a little bit weird. This is just a master at his work, taking on the sports drama, taking on that genre, and shaping it into what Luca Guadagnino does best. Something different, but something that is absolutely worth experiencing in a theater challengers was everything and more to me i i love this movie so much it's perfect i dare i say it's a masterpiece but i truly think everyone should absolutely go check this one out so with all that said i'm gonna give challengers an a plus i don't expect from this one I, ge I genuinely didn't i knew i was probably gonna like it but I didn't expect to walk out going holy shit that was awesome and i feel like this year has been kind of weak for movies but this is one that like I can't shake from my head and I can't wait to talk more about it. So make sure to leave your thoughts down below. If you've seen the film, let's talk some spoilers. If what were your thoughts? What were your conclusion on some of the choices the characters make? And of course, until next time, stay classy.